A good horseman is always adjusting to fit the situation. And those adjustments come from moment to moment. We're gonna talk about that on this edition of Ride Smart. Today on Ride Smart with Craig Cameron, American Horsemanship. If you're ready to take the next step in your horses and horsemanship and want to get exclusive access and personal attention from everybody here at the Double Horn Ranch, you need to check out RideSmartClub.com. Hey, you're going to receive all kinds of benefits and discounts to Craig Cameron Clinics and Craig Cameron Products. Hey, this is new. Get in on the ground floor. And if you want more information, again, go to RideSmartClub.com. And I'll see you guys on the trail. Welcome back to Ride Smart with Craig Cameron. Horsemanship is not an exact science because we're dealing with another living entity. You know, and I tell people, and they get a little frustrated. One moment I'll say, your reins are too tight. The next moment I'm saying, you need to loosen your reins. But because why? We have to make adjustments from moment to moment. So I'm gonna, I got a little pattern set up in here. You could call it a clover leaf, you could call it a barrel pattern, whatever. I'm just gonna use it to go around, change directions, and making adjustments, loping on the rail. All the time, I'm gonna kind of try to tell you what I'm doing. You'll see how many adjustments that I'm making in this short little segment. So again, I'm already adjusting here. I got my hands forward because I'm moving forward. I'm putting that release in there. I'm using my legs. I'm gonna squeeze and drive this horse into a trot. I'm just riding forward. I'm using some outside rein. There's an adjustment right there to get him off that rail. I'm into a posting trot. I'm now, I'm already thinking about what I'm gonna do ahead of time. I'm gonna go around one of these, these cones. I'm gonna lift up. Now I'm using an inside leg. I got my right leg back, driving him with that outside leg. Left hand up, right hand down. Here, right over here. I think I'll just push him back to that rail and go forward again. I moved him over with an inside rein, guided, not pull, right there. Right there, I'm gonna lift that rein. Head right over here to this cone. Here, pick him up. Left hand up, right hand down. Left leg forward, right leg back. I'm telling myself, Craig, get to the outside. Here, get over here. Now my right hand came up. My left leg is forward and hugging. My right leg, let me shake that right rein to say, hey, round out to your right. Little adjustments from moment to moment. Here I come again, adjusting here. Now watch me, leg yield this horse over here, put him back on that rail, using my legs as much as my hands, and I'm gonna push to a canter. Here's another adjustment, feeding those reins out, finding my way. Now I gotta tell myself, Craig, don't forget to roll those hips. Craig, sit back. Craig, do not lean. Craig, put your inside hand, the inside arm close to your body. Now, to slow this horse down, I just wanna pick up and sorta of hold. So here I come, hold here, and I'm just gonna push my horse around. Left leg up, give him left hand up. Here, leg yield right. There was a right rein, right leg. Watch me get ready here. Left rein, left leg. Here, guiding all the time. Right rein, right leg. Guiding all the time. Thinking, guiding. Lots of little adjustments all the time. Now I'm gonna put my right hand back. Here's an adjustment. 
touch him with on that right hip. Get my left shoulder forward, right leg back, loping along. Get those hands forward. Take him off that rail with a little outside rein. Little quiet adjustments, little small corrections. Here, now I'm gonna find, I'm gonna find a little spot to just stop this horse. Here, but I gotta prepare with an adjustment. And sit, boom, just like that. Adjusting all the time, moment to moment, to fit the horse, the situation, and the circumstance. Here's an adjustment feeding that rein out to let him drop his head. Why? Because I do not want this horse to be pulling on my hands to find that release. That's what teaches them to root. Guys, putting in this little pause here, important to my horse. Let him think about what we did. Let him catch his breath. Let him relax. The same for me. Because the horse is, is a thinking, decision-making animal, we are having to make those adjustments. Uh, and a lot of times I want to make those adjustments right before maybe I need to make them. So he gets a chance to get the message at the correct time. And those adjustments, again, literally, not from minute to minute, but from moment to moment. I'm getting ready, I'm getting prepared, and I'm telling myself what to do. So I'm gonna make an adjustment to ride this horse off. Again, pick him up, he knows something's gonna happen. Watch me slide my legs back to make him ride from behind, push with my seat. Watch me lift my right hand, being independent with my reins. Now I just give him his head. Again, I went to riding one-handed here. I'm in that snaffle bit right here. So again, sometimes I might go uh, two-handed. I mean, I can try it one-handed. Here, try it one-handed. And if I feel like this horse is not positioned up correctly, then I'll go back to two. A moment to moment, just guiding this horse, just thinking while I'm riding all the time, just moving him forward. Take him out of those turns sometimes. Put that softness in there. See, I can go to two hands, left hand in front of the right, pick him up, small corrections, adjusting to fit the situation. Again, moment to moment. I can't stress it enough. Here, I want this horse to round out a little bit here. Make him round, lift that one shoulder, right hand is up, left hand down, right leg forward. Boy, that was pretty round circle here, and easing off. Now I'm gonna go back to a, to a canter, use that right leg, another adjustment, all the time thinking, and I'm gonna prepare for a stop again. Here, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, whoa, boom, right there. All right, <laughs> you can see how many adjustments I made in a short period of time, but that's what a good horseman is doing. He can feel of this horse, recognize what's happening, what's not happening, and make the adjustment to fit those horses. Really important stuff. You know, uh, making these fast adjustments, just because they're moment to moment, doesn't mean you're moving your hands fast. Matter of fact, you're moving them slow. Guiding, not pulling. Loosening the reins, shortening those reins, not forgetting to use your seat and legs. And don't forget, put those pauses in there where he can relax, get comfortable, think about what's happened, and learn from it. When we come back, more exercises, working from moment to moment, and I think you'll enjoy this session. Welcome back to Ride Smart with Craig Cameron. Well, I've changed the pattern. I've took out one cone, and uh, this time I'm gonna use these cones just kind of do some figure eights, and I can do it different ways. I can round out, and I can, uh, counter bend and uh, you know people always <laughs> they ask me craig what are you thinking about when you're riding well that's what i'm trying to get you to understand here i'm literally telling myself what to do all the time those then i'm making those little adjustments did you know what i always say riding a horse you know how you ride a horse small corrections because if you stay in front of what's happening you know what and make small corrections guess what you never have to make a big one. And that's what I'm trying to avoid, big corrections. Doesn't mean I never have to. Look, I'm already shortening my reins. That's an adjustment here. We know the snaffle bit's designed to work 
one rain at a time. I'm aware of that. I'm telling myself that as I ride. Right here, just move my legs back, get him to start from the hind end, and just look. Little adjustments, hands up forward. That's what this show is about, small adjustments. Look, I'm using a little bit of outside rain, keep him off that rail, and watch, I'm gonna come across the middle here, pick up my inside rein, ride a little figure eight. I'm gonna kind of drive this horse forward in this small pin. You know, these small pins, again, they take away some of your forward movement. So here's just a nice figure eight, and watch, I, I can round him out around this thing. Do it different from one moment to the next. Left hand goes up, right hand goes conscientiously down here. Again, I'm lifting up, but if I have this one down here, down, he's gonna drop that head down. So I take him out of the figure eight. Again, I'm gonna pick that right rein up to get him rounded out to the right. See me just shake it, just vibrate it. Little adjustments. One correction after another, small corrections, only as needed. Now watch, here comes a little counter bend. Pushing with the left rein. Now I'm gonna push with the right rein. Here, drive him around here, drive him around here. I'm using the left rein to turn this horse to the right. I'm pushing on the right rein, right leg, small adjustments with the left rein, just to kind of keep him straight. And I'm using that left rein to travel right. Whoa, and there's a stop. Had to prepare for that stop, pick up a soft feel, have my legs on, then in the stop, sit, take those legs off. Golly, I wonder how many adjustments I made in that tiny little segment right there. A lot, there's a lot going on. Small adjustments, moment to moment. You know, I keep saying moment to moment, and I probably said it too many times, in other words, it's repetition. You, you're, you're saying, wow, he said that a lot of times. But horsemanship is repetition, guys. <laughs> That's why I keep saying, can't hear it enough times. I probably can't say it enough times. And we certainly can't do it enough times. You know, these horses, you know, they're just like us. They're, they're thinking all the time you're riding them too, you know. And I want them to... To, to have that confidence and have that trust as I'm making this, these adjustments to guide them uh, where I want them to go, at the speed I want them to go, and in the position I need them to travel. Man, that's a lot to think about. You know, sometimes I'm picking that rein up. I, when I do this here, again, I'm lifting his shoulder right here. I got my left hand down to kind of keep him soft in the pole. Then I'm supporting it with my legs. Hugging if I'm going rounding out right. I got a little hug with that inside leg to make him round that rib cage. Left leg back, keep the hip to the inside so he's in that perfect arc. I'm always paying attention to those arcs as I'm making those adjustments when? <laughs> From moment to moment. Small corrections, small adjustments with my hands, seat, legs, reins, spurs. Guys, and don't forget, these adjustments are, are mental as well. I'm telling myself what to do. So watch, this time I'll just counter bend all the way around the cone. Look at that stroll on the right leg. Look at my right hand is up, my left hand is away. Some small adjustments, small adjustments. Correcting, releasing, correcting, releasing, correcting, releasing. Never steady pressure. Here, let me try it this way. Never steady pressure. Here, again, now, again, I'm getting him up. Here, drive, push with your seat, Craig. Pick your eyes up. Quit looking down. Here, small adjustments here. Small adjustments here, here. Now, let him go forward here. Loose rein, I'm gonna use that left leg. Just push this little old horse into a canter. Thinking all the time. Here's an adjustment, moving my right arm in rhythm with the horse. Picking that right rein up. Going one-handed. Thinking all the time. Craig, sit to the outside. That's an adjustment. I certainly don't wanna lean to the inside. I'm gonna prepare for a stop. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, whoa, boom, and release. There's a whole another adjustment right there. Stopping this horse, letting him think, 
letting him relax, digest what happened, and learn from what he did. You know, uh, that little figure eight is simple, but very effective when you round out and count them, Ben. Don't forget the little stopping spots where he thanks and remembers and learns from what we did. Hey, coming right back with another exercise. We'll be back with more on Ride Smart with Craig Cameron. If you're looking for anything Western, look no further than the Double Horn Store. Hey, it's the equipment that we've designed, developed, and tested right here at the ranch for the last 30 years. We've got saddles, saddle pads, hackamores, bits, bridles, head stalls, you name it, we've got it all. Caps, t-shirts, best halters and lace, Craig Cameron flags and sticks. Visit us online at CraigCameronStore.com or come visit us here in Bluffdale, Texas. Welcome back to Ride Smart with Craig Cameron. You know, I think when you're aware of just how many little adjustments you can make, and when I make those adjustments, I, I want to get someday where I'm really refined, where people can almost hardly see it. And that's why you'll hear me say sometimes, you know, exaggerate in the beginning, big exaggeration, it's for the horse. As the horse gets better and has more understanding, my cues become smaller, more refined, where you can probably at some point just barely see them on those finished horses. But I'm certainly making those adjustments from moment to moment. All right, I'm gonna have Cole go, and I'm gonna talk about his adjustments. And uh, when I ask him, I'm gonna watch him prepare, and uh, we're gonna double into the fence, then we'll roll back a little bit. Let's talk about his adjustments. Let's go to the left, and look how he moved his hand forward to guide that horse. Now you're gonna watch Cole, that's just a little five-year-old, we just been riding around for about a year, and uh, he's got him in, the, in a little bridle right here, but watch he's riding two-handed. See how his hands are up forward there as he doubles into the fence with a real slow hand, just guiding. Look at those hands up forward. Now prepare again to double into the fence. Watch him come off the rail a little bit, make a soft turn, started with his inside rein, sort of ended with the outside rein. Now he's just traveling forward. Now let me see what you do to push to a canter and just make it soft. There it is. Again, just soft push to canter. Now again, you watch again. I want to see his shoulders real level, put his weight a little to the outside, and look how much slack he has in the reins. Look how he's looking to the right now to really get his weight to the right, riding the outside of his horse. Now Cole, real quietly, let's see if you can find a stop and go into a rollback. Stop, brings the horse's front end across, and turn and go. Now this time, I want you to stop, give me one step back before you roll back. Go around again so he can get more prepared. He's got his elbow in close to his side, now preparing for a stop. So again, he's gonna sit one step back, now turn his horse and go. And that, that one step back, preparing ahead of time, allowed that horse to shift his weight. Now good, that's pretty. Now Cole, see if you can real quietly, while you're loping, double into the fence. This is different than, than, than rolling back. Look at that right rein, turn and go. And that was nice, first step to canter. What he has to keep telling himself is stay in the middle, slow those hands down, guide, don't pull, all these little bitty adjustments. All right, when you're ready, now prepare to double into the fence that way. Let's see what he does with his hands. Right there, now he just picked up the left rein, guided the horse to the left, and went the other way. Now, let's just find your stop, let this horse think a minute, and whoa. Now, again, petting him on the neck. All these little things, just slowly. And you know, I always say, the faster a horse's legs are moving, the slower you want to move your hands so they can get the message from their mouth to their mind right down to those feet. Just make it real easy for this horse. You know, and as you were watching Cole work and ride, you know, uh, 
Again, everybody's gonna ride a little bit different. Long as the horse is relaxed, long as he's comfortable, and long as he understands, well then you're doing a good job. You know, as I ride this horse around here, here, again, if I'm gonna double into that fence, you know what one thing I'm gonna do first? I'm gonna slide my right leg back, get his attention to the right a little bit. So I'm gonna shorten my right rein, and as he comes, release and go somewhere just like that. Look at those adjustments. Let's try it again. Slide my left leg back as he comes, release and push him off with that outside rein, outside leg and whoo, stopped him with one rein. Man, little minute adjustments, little small corrections to get these horses operating off of a feel and allowing them to follow that feel. You know, it just takes time and really what we're working on more than anything else is working on ourselves. That's so important. Well, as you can see, you know, uh, lots of small corrections, lots of adjustments, and as you know, they, they can come very quickly. They can be minute. They can be big. You're adjusting to fit that horse, that situation, and that circumstance, and we know now that it changes from moment to moment. Hey, I hope you enjoyed the show. Hope you'll apply this to you and your horse. And we'll see you next week here on Ride Smart. You know, one of my most favorite and popular products that I've ever had is the Craig Cameron Cowboy Knife. Everybody loves this knife. It's functional, it's useful, handmade, bone handle, the whole deal. But for you guys that love knives and love things that are Western, check this out. This is a brand new product, and this is the Craig Cameron Boot Knife. Look at this knife. Again, all handmade, bone handle, double-edged, true functional knife. And it comes with this scabbard right here. It comes with the scabbard, it just clips right on. And this is a really neat little product, and here's how it works. It just goes right on my boot, just like this, and I tell you what, I work with it, I travel with it, I walk with it, I ride with it, never gets in my way, even when I got on my shafts. I just put it over there like that, and that nice there if I ever need it. Hey, for cowboys and cowgirls that love things cowboy and love things western, go to CraigCameron.com and order your boot knife.